this demonstration will see how to configure client status settings. So when our client is communicating with the management point, it's sending information to that management point. And one of the things we want to do is to ensure that we can still manage that device by monitoring the activity of that device. Now coming to my monitoring workspace, within my monitoring workspace, I'm going to come down to client status. Within client status, we can look at client activity. So we can view information about the activity status of the clients. We can do a client check. So view information about the the check of the clients. We can have a look at production client deployment. So we can have a look at the status of production clients and pre-production as well. We can view information about pre-production clients. So what we'll do here is we'll just right click on our client status. We'll go to our client status settings. Now on our client status settings, what we've got here is we can configure the general settings to monitor the clients. So the client policy requests during the following days, we can have a look at that over seven days. We can have a look at heartbeat discovery information, hardware inventory, software inventory and also as well as status messages during the following days and then we can retain all of this client status history for however many days we want to maintain it for so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to change this to 90 days and what we're going to do for the evaluation periods i'm going to drop all of these down to five just to make the information a bit more granular once i've done that i can select ok and that's the end of this quick demonstration Thank you.